Welcome back everyone to this channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can use MS Form to collect the data from external users or those users who are not having access or license to SharePoint. And uh, in, in that particular form, we can also have uh, attachments uh, which we can in turn save in SharePoint. So consider an example, if uh, some sales guy which is not having access to SharePoint or not uh, a valid uh, license assigned, then how he can uh, put the or put the data into SharePoint. So this MS form is very handy in that case. So we can just share one form where uh, that sales guy can enter his information related to uh, daily or weekly reporting along with some attachment and that in turn can be saved into SharePoint to create some dashboards or a reporting thing uh, uh, eventually. So let's have the same example. So I'll just uh, tell you how we can capture the data and how uh, using Power Automate we can save the same data into SharePoint along with attachments. So right now I'm on the MS form. So as uh, you might be familiar with MS form, you can just simply create new form or new quiz uh, just clicking this new button. And I have already created one form which is not uh, something complex. So it's, it is a pretty standard form. You can see it's a sales report and in the sales report, I am asking few questions to sales guys. That is their sales improvement is just a checkbox. We can have this quantity of laptop uh, sold in current month, quantity of printer sold in current month, and same with uh, Cisco phones. And in fifth and sixth question, I am having this attachment, which is a which is attachment field where they can just upload the content, uh, the the file. And that file can be in turn saved into SharePoint once uh, that person clicks on the submit. So there's a pretty standard form. The thing to remember is I am having two controls and these uh, file upload controls I'm going to use in my Power Automate. So now the next step, I'll just uh, jump to the flow and I am on the home page. I'll just create one flow from automated and this flow would be using the trigger as when a new response is submitted. So I'm just naming that as uh, save uh, sales report and along with attachment because the we are also going to attach the report files. And when I click on create, it gives me that uh, trigger added to it. I need to just select my form so as I said, my form is sales report and in the next step, I need to uh, read the response out of it, the, the, the uh, data or the submitted data out of it. So I will just use one action that has get response details and in this I need to specify the form ID which is my sales report and the response ID. So response ID I got from my previous step. Okay, so now I got this uh, get response details and in the next step I need to create one item in SharePoint and why I'm directly using this action uh, without actually reading out the, the values and the files because I would like to show you what kind of JSON we are getting out of it. So I'm just creating one item and that item I'm going to create in my SharePoint list. So I'm just going to establish connection. This is my site and this is my sales report list. So I can just show you my sales report list. It's having title, sales increase, quantity of laptop, all the columns which we are having there in my MS form. So the same thing we are going to create over here. So I'll just match up the fields. The title I would choose as submitter email because I need to capture that who is submitting that feedback or this sales report. And in sales increase, I would use my this dynamic columns is the sales improvement. I'll just remove that. And quantity of laptops, quantity of uh, printers and I'll just quantity of phone sold in current month. All right, so I just save it and let's just read out the 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 content or the the fees, the information which the sales guys are entering. So it just saved. I'll just go back to my form and 
I'll just submit it in preview. I'm saying yes and data. I'm just entering the data. And in the other attachment, I'll just upload some dummy files. So let me just extract that out. Let me just select this annual report, though, like we are doing it for current month, but it's just dummy file. Just ignore that. And I'll just select annual report too. So in two attachments, I have attached those files. So one is for upload sales report and upload sales prospects or the potential sales. And when I submit it, my flow should trigger. I can just go in and see. So it did trigger and it should save the data into SharePoint list. I'll just refresh it. So it does have the data. So one data is of uh, which is I believe like the older one and the, the current data is this one. All right. So now I'll just go back to my flow and click on this success where it ran and now I would be extracting few stuff related to files because as I would like to also save the file data into the SharePoint as an attachment. So this was my first field of that file. So I'll just copy this entire and open one notepad. Now you can see it's all it's all JSON. And why I'm saving this because I'm going to use this as a template while I use that parse JSON uh, action. So I'm copying the same thing for sales prospects and saving this. So now I'll just added this now flow. And in the next step, I'll just start use parse JSON action to parse my JSON. And I will use the, the field which is upload sales report. This is the first attachment field. And the, in the schema. So now I will be generating this schema from sample. And a sample I copied in my notepad. So this was the sample for sales report. And I will just save it. Done. So it will automatically create the data or the, sem uh, the schema from this generated sample, which we just copied over here. So we are done with this one field. And the same thing I'll do once again for my this second file upload. And this time I'll choose the field as upload sales prospect. And I'll use the other sample to create the JSON. So now with the JSON, I cut both of the JSON for the attachments. And then in the third step, I'll just read out the files from OneDrive because whenever a person is submitting the, the MS form, then it the attachment gets saved under OneDrive and special folder, which is apps under Microsoft forms. So under all these sales, uh, we would be having the attachments corresponding to those questions. So I, that's why I would read the file from OneDrive. So get file from OneDrive. Right, get file content from OneDrive. And in this identifier, I will put my first file identifier, which is under the parse JSON. So I'm just adding the ID. Now it automatically applied that apply to each because it could be multiple attachments. And I'll add uh, another action as add attachment. And this time I would be making a connection to same to my sales report list. So under sales report list, I'll just use the ID of my item which we created in early step. And under the file name, I'll use the file name from parse JSON first activity. So this is the one and the file content I'll be reading out from the file content, which we just uh, added from OneDrive. So this is how we can save the attachment. And this is for one 
uh, component I mean like one field and the for the other field I need to repeat the same step so I'll again say get file content that is from one drive and in the same I uh, this time I would use the identifier as my the other field uh, from other second partition partition 2 and now I will add attachment and under the add attachment I'll again use the same connection sales report list and ID of the uh, ID of that item and under file name I'll choose from JSON2 the file content I'll choose from this get file content too all right so now I got both of my files from both of the two upload fields I can just save it and I can just go back to my form and let's submit it once again so this time we are submitting with attachment I'll just run that in preview no laptop let's say four five six one two cisco phones five four hundred cisco phones and then it an attachment again i'll choose the dummy attachment as report two and under the other control i'll choose dummy attachment as annual report and submit it so i just again go back to my flow to see whether it ran or not or still running let's refresh it so it succeeded so it should ideally save the data along with the attachments so I'll just circle back to my list just to cross validate yes I got that data this was my data 4561240 I'll just open it so now you can see I got these two attachments annual report 2 annual report which we attached and all the data is being intact there so this how this is the demo uh, where you can just pass on the ms form url so you can just grab the url from this share button and this url can be given to any person even external to your organization can respond and that person you can just provide the link to that person they can submit the data so it can be sales guy or some some external vendor as well like fill out the details for you and that can be saved into a SharePoint list where you can just uh, manipulate or transform the data according to your requirement. So I believe this MS Forms is a very useful product and if you like the entire interaction of this MS Form with the SharePoint please do subscribe my channel and also comment or like my video.